So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Off the play fake, it's Thompson. This one brought in by Jefferson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Trayvon Walker makes the tackle. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down at eight. Thompson going to throw it. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but what do you think he's learned from that first go-around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try to prevent that from happening again. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. So the drive will indeed continue. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Here's Thompson. Inside the 10. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. Here's Thompson. And this is going to be intercepted. It's D.J. Turner who's got it. And the Broncos are going to take possession here. It's a... So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Open net is Waddle complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. A lot still to go here in Super Bowl 61. We have reached the end of one quarter of play. We'll be back in just a moment. Nothing, nothing, our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Able to slither by. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? It gives it to his wide out. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Justin Jefferson, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And this feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. 
So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. Thompson now on the bootleg. Now a leaping catch. He's got him. And he'll be knocked to the turf right there as he gets it up to the 43. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. 14 yards. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the ball. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. So they recover their own fumble. Now they face third and short. Now they'll audible to something else. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And shoving his way inside the 35. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. Ten more there and another first down. Waddle, the motion man right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. They run here with Singletary. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Devin Singletary taking it in from a yard out. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. First down. Here's Thompson. Oh, no. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Jefferson going to go in motion right. Well, here's a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. On the give, this is Singletary. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 55 yards now on the ground on just seven carries from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Jefferson going to go in motion right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 23, here's second down and two. They'll give this to Singletary running right. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. They'll run again. 
And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Devin Singletary, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the 49ers are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here. The The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now it's Thompson. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively. That's second down. Now Thompson. That's caught. Puka Nakua. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. On the ground, it's Jefferson. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Looking to throw, Thompson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Broncos force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the... So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Again, it'll be Singletary. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Devin Singletary with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Niners are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the out. Kickoff concludes the ball game, partner, and one side a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.